today's episode is brought to you by the letter V. I'm not so sure we're going to be victorious, but we'll sure give it our best effort. So we'll also say it's brought to you by the letter E for that valiant effort. And it's brought to you by the number 21, since today is number 21. Slightly different than the other days, but still pretty close. It's also brought to you by me, Angela of Morbid Heart Designs, and Carissa of Happy Goth Art. All right, we're back for day 21, I think. I don't know how that's going to edit, but we're going with it. We'll, we'll figure it out. It'll be fine. Everything we're having will fun. Be that's fine. all that matters. <laughs> so in case you're new here, we're opening the Arteza Advent Calendar Artist Supplies from day 21. What I can tell you is it's not a round canvas. Oh. Thank God, we don't need any more of those. There are no more round ones on here, are there? What the heck? I don't oh. see. They're all square. Oh, it's. Yeah. So we got a marker. <sighs> every day, every blend, ever blend. Oh, is there alcohol ink markers? I am yeah, not excited about so this. I got distracted. This. Apparently, there's writing on the back of all of these. I just noticed on day 21. Oh. Captain Observant, what can I say? <laughs> it's Mantis Green Alcohol-Based Dye Ink. I'm not excited about these because Markers and I are not friends. <laughs> I love Markers. It's just been many years now since I've used them. I have a whole bunch and I don't even know if they are still good. But just so I know all my options, I'm using it on the canvas, too, to see how it actually goes on the canvas quite well. It goes on my multi-purpose paper nicely and fairly evenly for, you know, acrylic marker. I am going to try it with the Twee marker because it's supposed to be blendable, but it's water-based. So, like, I don't know how that would work. We already tried that. It doesn't work. I know, but I'm going to try it with their product because Have I don't fun. Know. I'm not going to. It does diddly squat. It definitely does what um, alcohol markers does on the watercolor paper. Don't use watercolor paper. You're not going to control it. And the whole point of having blendable alcohol markers is being a control freak. Yeah. It does layer it, really nice, like, in a cool, fun way. That's why alcohol markers are great. If you're like me, my brain just likes to do the same color for all the shading. <laughs> Makes my brain happy. Okay. Um, and it does go on the canvas really well. It's not as um, color saturated as the mixed media paper, but it goes on the canvas surprisingly well. So this, this is the color that I got. Mm -hmm. And it's a nice color. This is about as dark as it goes. So, and because I'm using this multi-purpose paper, it's not bleeding or anything. It didn't bleed through the watercolor paper, which is surprising. I don't think I will keep this one long term just because I have, like, almost all of the Copic colors. Mm -hmm. So, well, in theory, I have almost all of the Copic colors. <laughs> <laughs> it's... This kind so of I would I would give this to a friend who likes to work with markers or wants to play around with it. It's this is an interesting mix of things. I don't know how it's all gonna work out, but I'm not using this one on the watercolor paper as I throw it on accident. <laughs> That's the. You know what? Let's just throw this day away and on to day twenty-two. Ah uh, snap! Look what you did there. <laughs> From my dark heart to yours, have a wonderful day, and please don't die before my next video, and or short, and or who knows what. <laughs>